I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the lonely vibe. Yo, what's up guys? Search Goblin here and welcome to this new video. Um, as you guys can see here, I have a ladder deck ready and you guys requested this a lot, do a video on pushing on the ladder. So as you can see, I didn't really push yet, I'm at 4,144 uh, 4, cups, so that's not high at all. And as you can see, this is a pretty solid uh, ladder deck, I think, I just made it, I upgraded all those cards, so I've got it pretty high, the levels are pretty high in this deck. So let's get right into a battle. And I think I will do 3 life battle guys, I'm not sure. We're facing Dome from uh, Bangkok Yeti, so let's give him a thumbs up and good luck. So with this starting hand, I will definitely go with the Princess up high to see what he, uh, how he reacts on this. So let's see, he drops his own Mega Man in the back and he has Fire Spirit, so that's interesting. We might even uh, try to predict it later on if he keeps doing that. But for now, I will just drop my own Mega Man to cancel out his Mega Man. I think I will drop an Ice Spirit as well to uh, freeze it so then the tower and the mega main could one shot it so that's really key for one elixir i could do that we have our fireball ready in case yeah he drops something else so that's a good fireball i will hit the tower the furnace and the mini pekka dies and the mega main might even make it to the tower almost it almost uh swing at the tower so so far we're looking pretty good and let's actually oh wow he he dropped his uh, main so that's interesting let's actually try to do a risky move now and it might pay off, it might not. So we will see soon. So I will again drop my princess. He just dropped this fire spirit. So let's see if we can predict it. There they are, we predicted it. So the princess is still alive and he still has to respond to that. So that's really cool. I think, yeah, he's forced to uh, drop his furnace. So guys, that's really awesome. And let's now go with a hawk rider. I dropped it a bit too early because it got, um, oh shit, I, I missed the, the tower, that's bad. But uh, I dropped it a bit too early because the Mega Man still got a hit on my Hulk Rider. And I tried to fireball the tower, the furnace and the mini P.E.K.K.A. But I missed the tower unfortunately. But as you can see the princess did a lot of damage on the right side. So, so far looking pretty good. And I think we're up on Elixir, I'm not sure. But we were just, when, when we hit 10, we know we're not, on, uh, we're not up on Elixir. I think he's up about 3 Elixir, but that doesn't really matter. So far we didn't really see his wing condition yet. There it is, he has a Royal Giant. Let's try to lure his Mega Man with the Ice Golem to our uh, Mega Man. So that will cancel out. And we countered the Royal Giant pretty good with a Inferno Tower. He didn't have Lightning or anything. So let's piggy push on the other side. And I think we can... Yeah, he will He will go again with a, a Mini P.E.K.K.A. I will just drop a Defensive Princess. And I will soon drop a Mega Man on top. I think I will still have to drop an Ice Golem. No, I don't. So that's nice. Let's go with the Ice Golem, let's uh, let's then, oh, he actually comes with a Mega Man, I think we will, yeah, we will definitely fireball that. Now I will push with my Hulk Rider Ice Spirit, he's coming with a Royal Giant, so let's have our Inferno Tower ready, guys. There it is, I dropped my Inferno Tower right on top of the uh, Royal Giant, and so far looking pretty good. I think we can outcycle him, or um, uh, cycle him out with the spells, we can kill him with spells, I mean. Let's drop a Princess High, I hope it targets on the tower, yes it does. And the Mega Man will, uh, will finish the tower. So let's go for another push. Only 6 seconds left. So I think we already got this game. But that was a pretty good game. He barely touched our tower. So let's give him a good game. And a thumbs up. So guys we won the first match. I think we can finish this uh, episode. If we win 2 more. Around uh, 4230 cups. Let's see. Let's unlock the silver chest. And let's get into the second match. So if you guys... Um, if you guys want to see me play another deck on ladder, I do have to upgrade it probably, but just let me know in the comments down or just let me know in the, the comment section. So he decides to go with a miner and a goblin barrel. I'm not sure my Wi-Fi is a bit laggy, so I was a bit uh, the lock was a bit delayed, but he still buffed barely any damage, and we can counter push now with an ice golem, hawk rider, and a mega man. So let's see, he does have Illy Barbarians, which is kind of annoying. First my hawk rider, it does get I think it got two or three hits, so that's nice. And we will drop our princess, I will drop an ice spirit to freeze the elite barbarian because one elite barbarian will still deal so much damage. And guys, his lock doesn't even kill our princess. I have a level 3 princess and that means, I think that means that he has a level 2 uh, lock, so that's really cool. Let's see if we can hit anything or what he's going to do about my princess. So he decides to barbarian that, I will just fireball, I think, yeah, we, have not, we, we don't have to do anything about those barbarians, so that's, uh, that's a good trade for us. 
And so far looking pretty good. He does have Elibar Branch, but I think we outcycled him. So let's see what he has for this. He might even have a Skarmy as well because he's playing a uh, Goblin Barrel. But it looks like he doesn't really have a counter, so that's really good. And I will not cycle with the Ice Golem because the death damage will also uh, affect the minions. And I will drop my Princess to help the tower to kill it. And as you can see, the death damage killed them. So, so far looking pretty good. I mean, we dealt a lot of damage on his tower. We barely took any damage so far. And he decides to go with arches. I dropped the Ice Spirit and a lock that was really reactive. And so far, I think he doesn't have an answer. He just dropped his Elipa Barons on top of our um, on top of our princess. And I sneaked in a Hawk Rider on the right side. And I think, yeah, the, the tower goes down. I'll drop another princess. I have a Mega Man coming at that tower. And I think, yeah, there are his Barbarians I was about to say. But I think our Mega Man will get out of range of his tower. So... There you go, it will help support um, the tower with killing the uh, Barbarian. So, he drops a Miner, I'm not sure why, I think he tried to um, to let the Miner tank for the Barbarians. I think he will come with a main horde soon, there it is guys. Our uh, our predictions so far, not, this wasn't really a prediction, but this was more, or this was more something uh, we could expect. So, let's drop our Lock, let's drop an Ice Spirit. The Elite Barbarians did kill the Ice Spirit because they are so fast. But I think, no, the tower won't go down. We can just fireball it if we want. Let's go. Let's. Uh, we will fireball in defense here. I'll drop a princess behind the king tower to help uh, the tower kill the... Uh, yeah, to help the, the tower kill the miner. And as you can see, his tower went... Uh, his tower went down because of our mega... Uh, yeah, because of our mega minion. And he's coming really aggressive. Let's drop a, a fireball on his uh, goblin barrel. And he's coming with a miner at our princess, but... The miner even died without uh, our princess dying because we also had an ice spirit there. So, again, a pretty good match. I mean, these these are pretty easy because I didn't, as I just mentioned, I didn't really push yet. But if you guys want me to continue this series, or not really a series, but just like pushing ladder, I guess. If you guys want want to see uh, more videos about me pushing ladder, but also higher higher uh, up in trophies with, for example, this deck, or as I just mentioned, another deck. Just let me know, of course. And again, I will start with the princess to see how he reacts. He drops the ice wizard, which is a pretty good counter, I guess. I will go with a hawk rider on the left side, so he can't really build a strong push. And he drops his um, elite barbarians. This is really key, guys. Uh, wow, let's see. He goes really aggressive with um, minions as well. I fireball and lock it. So one elite barbarian does get two hits. That's really uh, that's that's pretty. Uh, pretty much damage with two hits as you can see i think my tower is yeah we are also level one so 3052 uh, hp and two barbarian hits deal so much damage and it looks like he's preparing i'm not sure oh he has a miner as well let's see what we can do one goblin does make it to the tower that will deal a lot of damage and i think i will just go aggressive now he just spent i mean he didn't spend that much but he did spend a bit he does have elite barbarians i'm wondering how how we can have so much elixir but our hawk rider is locked on the tower now it's dealing a lot of damage let's drop our uh let's see guys he's coming with a uh, two lane push that's annoying but i think yeah the left tower will, will i'm not sure if it will go down but it's, it's he's dealing a lot of damage because of the ice weirds it slowing down my tower his minions can deal a lot of damage but at this point i think we could still possibly defend i i am forced to lock here so let's lock his goblins and I think I will just uh, force him to defend on the right side. So um, we do have to worry about this miner or possibly a elite barbarian on my left tower. But I don't think if we can keep the pressure up, I don't think he can um, he can outcycle us with a, a fireballs. But he is coming with a, a big push now. Let's drop our ice golem. Let's drop our princess. I think we also have to drop our mega min and the ice spirit because the elite barbarians are so tanky. He comes with a uh miner oh the miner is actually locked on the tower i locked there i'm not sure why i locked there i should uh, i should save my lock for his goblins but at this point i think we can uh, again put pressure as i just mentioned put pressure on the right side so he can't uh cycle out on the left side so he can't cycle fireballs 30 seconds left i think uh we can defend his next miner push there he goes with elite barbarians let's drop um well let's see guys we are we are forced to fireball here I think, yeah, I have to look here as well because I don't want to take any damage. And he went too aggressive with his goblins. He also, uh, wow, he's going really aggressive, guys. Let's drop our 
Ice Golem, let's drop our Mega Me and let's drop our Ice Spirit. I think that's enough. His tower goes down. Uh, he zaps. Nine seconds left. And I don't think he can come true. We have our Fireball ready. In case uh, we need the Inferno, we have that one as well ready. Let's lock his Goblins. And that's GG. That was also a really good game. And as I just mentioned, it's really important to keep the pressure up on the other side. We got a Golden Chest. That's nice, by the way. But it's really important to keep up the pressure on the other side with this deck. Because he couldn't fireball or he couldn't use his miner to chip away. And I was just... Um, I forced him to defend all the time. So that is why I won that game. Three wins, uh, three life battles. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Or not really an episode, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure if I want to make a series on ladder pushing. I don't really enjoy it that much. But if, if you guys want to see me doing that, definitely let me know. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.